Hello everyone, my name is Aisling Dias and today we are going to discuss about main engine. I uh, have discussed about main engine earlier but I have not shown you all, I have not discussed different different parts which are there. So today I have some poster with me. So I will be trying to show you all different parts which are there. So let's go and try to see and understand what are the different parts which we have. So today what we are discussing is a crosshead engine, crosshead type engine. There is a difference between a crosshead and trunk type engine. So most of the engines which are there for diesel engines or generators are trunk type engines. And here we have crosshead type engines in which what actually happens is the piston is directly connected to something called as a crosshead with the help of a piston rod. Piston is there. You can see in this case, this is a piston. We have a small piston rod. Okay. It is passing through something called as a stuffing box. And then it is connected to crosshead. Now crosshead is the one which is sliding type mechanism. Okay. Mm -hmm. To whom we have the connecting rod which is connected. And the connecting rod is then connected to the uh, crankshaft which is there. Okay. Now whatever fuel which is burnt here. Whatever fuel which is burnt here will be sent through the exhaust valve. Through the exhaust valve it is going to the exhaust manifold. And from the exhaust manifold, it is going to the turbocharger, which we cannot see. Turbocharger has two sides. One is the turbine and other side we have the blower. The turbine is been fueled by the exhaust gases. It is rotated by the exhaust gases, which is connected on the same shaft and the blower rotates. The blower will take air from the atmosphere. In our case, since the engine is on, is on ship, uh, it is taking air from the main, uh, so from the, it is taking air from the, engine room itself so it is taking air compressing it after compression the temperature goes up now because the temperature has gone up it is passing through something called as a uh, main engine air cooler and after that what is done is it is cooled and sent to a scavenge manifold which we cannot see it is somewhere behind this okay now we also have auxiliary blowers now auxiliary blowers are provided for the scavenge manifold during the time when the engine is just started when the engine is at low load low speed you can see we don't have enough fuel which is burnt just because we don't have enough fuel burnt we don't have enough fuel we don't have enough exhaust gases and if you don't have enough exhaust gases we don't have the driving force which is there required for the turbocharger and because of which the compressed air which is produced is far far less and that's the reason we have auxiliary blows auxiliary blows are just blowers which are connected with which are driven with the help of a motor okay so that is done and that will supply air when the pressure is less so uh, normally when it, the pressure of the scavenge manifold goes below 0.6 bar, it will have the blowers which will run. Okay, until 0.9 bar, it will cut off. Now, in this case, if you can see the piston was there, then we have the piston rod. It is passing to the scavenge uh, to the stuffing box. Now, stuffing box is placed on a diaphragm plate. Now, this is the one where it is divided into two halves. Okay, on top we have the under piston area. Okay, this is called as the under piston area. And below we have the crankcase. So we don't want this stuff to go down, this stuff to go up. In the crankcase we have lube oil. On top we have unburnt fuel, uh, you know, scraped cylinder oil, unwanted things which are there. You know, sometimes some water is also there. So all those things which are not required are there here. We want to dump that out. So this will go, uh, if you might, uh, I don't know if you can see it very clearly, there is a small black, you can see a dot like, that is basically a drain. So that drain is connected to something called as a scavenge drain. Okay, so it is connected to a scavenge drain tank uh, from uh, under piston area and from your scavenge manifold. The drains go to something called as a scavenge drain tank and that is dirty oil which is mixed with unburnt fuel, carbon, okay, uh, cylinder oil which is scraped down, some amount of water also. So all that is which is dirty is dumped into that. And below oil which is there is crankcase oil. We don't want that to go up so we have the stuffing box inside stuffing box there are uh, rings okay scraping rings just like piston rings we have uh, stuffing box rings which are there those are scraping the oil not allowing this oil to go up in fact on top many a times there is some amount of oil which can penetrate to the stuffing box and that is the cylinder oil which is there okay so the cylinder oil which we had used for liner lubrication that falls down here and it can pass through the stuffing box so because of which we have in the stuffing box one small line which will send it back to stuffing box drain tank. So that oil is also not good. Earlier we used to use it by purifying it. But nowadays we don't do that. So that oil is directly sent to stuffing box. So this is how the small small things which you can see are there. Okay. 
And then if you try to see here we have the flywheel over here and they have shown the turning gear engaging part this is how the flywheel is engaged with the help of a turning gear that is done when we want to run uh, the engine or turn the engine for maintenance okay we are not running it we are just rotating at a very slow speed we are doing it for maintenance or we want to do for inspection okay that is the time we'll be using this otherwise you can see the connecting rod is connected to the crankshaft and the same way you can see the, on the other side we can see the luboil lines also here the yellow color which is shown is the luboil lines okay luboil how it flows luboil flows to the crosshead from the crosshead it goes to the piston piston it comes back to crosshead from crosshead it goes to the side okay slide side of the stuffing box we have shoe guides and sliding surfaces it goes there and oil the oil is scraped down to the crankcase okay i think we have you can see the main engine the main engine is of a size of almost two three story building this is basically a main engine which is used on most of the ships with, for propelling and um, depending upon the size uh, depending upon long stroke or super long stroke the size of the engine grows up higher and higher this type of engine has something called as a dry sum and what it means is basically all the oil which falls down doesn't remain there it actually has a small grating down for each and every unit so from there the oil seeps down into a into a tank which is there below that that is called as a sum tank so what happens is the oil which is there here it just a small layer of oil with oil doesn't remain so that's the reason it's called as a dry sump and the other type which is there for generators it is called as a wet sump where we have oil which is stored okay oil which is stored like a level here we don't have because we have to enter inside and do maintenance whenever we want to do inspection and maintenance we'll be entering inside and doing the same okay hope you guys have understood and there are a lot of many things which can be shown here like we can show like you know cylinder lubrication is there you know other things are also there which can be shown but uh, we'll try to cover it in the next video till my uh, next video best of luck be safe please do share and subscribe because i have just started doing videos again and uh, if you try to share more and more people can see the video okay thank you